going everybody on YouTube this is Jacob viral for our build update today on my single tenant subwoofer box with a crescendo tenant subwoofer so I got a really big build announcement today for um, some of the changes to come for my build I'm sure it's gonna be changes that are for the good to get louder of course and uh, some things that I'll be able to do for projects for videos to help improve uh, my build as well as give some more feedback and suggestions on hey cardio improvements and ways to get louder on the meter uh, ways to improve your audio system how to tune it and tweak it and stuff like that so uh, just going to give you some quick sneak peek discussions today nothing major of importance besides hey what is it going to i'm going to be doing so thanks for all the feedback on the comments of the uh, video i made a couple days ago with hey you should do these changes um, what's some things that you guys suggest so i've had people suggest put my port location from here move it over here see how it changes i've had people suggest moving my subwoofer from there to having it face this way. I've had people suggest me putting in 45s in there. I've had people suggest adding roundovers down here, uh, roundovers here. I've had people suggest, hey, move your subwoofer box up some, move it back some, see how that looks. Hey, why not change the whole system to, uh, instead of it being a fourth order, go to either a sixth order or a eighth order. So I've had a lot of people suggest that as well. Um, tweaked tuning the port area is too big make it smaller get to where you can play better lows a change the subwoofer so right now I have a tenant subwoofer change it to another different type of tenant subwoofer had people even suggest hey why don't you put an 18 in this box instead of it being a single 10 or go with a 15 I've had people suggest that I've had people suggest changing amps um, that's another thing uh, let's see what else um, oh mounting it back regular see how the subwoofer mount is different putting the subwoofer back into the sealed in section also changing the ratio because right now it's around a six to one ratio five and a half change that ratio to like a two and a half to one or a three to one that one is possible but um that's going to be a test in a coming video too so that should be some fun but yep that's some of the suggestions people have made for my system oh another one is rotating the whole box 180 and then literally just having the port facing that way, bringing my box this way some. So there's some of the box updates of different ideas people suggested. So I probably missed a few, but that was most of them. Thanks for suggesting, guys. So everything I just mentioned there, uh, probably half of those I'm going to be doing. So I really appreciate all y'all suggestions. So that helps me. So going forward, there's some plans that I'm going to be explaining. Um, one of them one of them is i do plan to do some tweaks and adjustments on the fourth order i don't plan to go sixth order just because i am more comfortable with fourth orders and i personally just like six fourth orders more on a um output basis as well as cone control basis and i feel like i can have more testing variables to be able to tweak my sealed section and my ported enclosure section to uh, get a higher output near peak but my bandwidth won't be as good so but, and of course, I know there could be more trials and learning curves I can do with sixth orders. I'm sure I can do that in the future, but for current state, I'm going to stay at fourth order. So that's one of my variables is fourth order. My next variable is I'm not changing boxes, so I'm not going to put money into wood or anything. So my height restriction is 14 inches here. So I know my height restriction of my box is 14 inches. What does that mean? Well, I have a 10-inch subwoofer in there. I'm going to be going to a single 12-inch subwoofer. So, um make another video to come for hey what do you guys suggest on that so but this is just a sneak peek for the ones still watching so i will be doing a 12 inch subwoofer instead of a 10 uh, the reason i decided to say that one is because i think my box ratio is nice but with the cone control and the amount of um coil size pressure buildup and uh, cubic space that i have a 12 is going to be a lot more optimal for a big ratio fourth than a 10 I'm going to have a little bit more cone control, cone pressure as well. And I also am going to have a nice big, a better um, coil size. So I could be going into a four inch coil instead of a two and a half to three inch coil with tens. My power rating is going to be able to handle more. So instead of handling 2K watt RMS max 10, maybe 2,500, I'll be able to go into a five to seven K watt RMS system. So I know I can gain output that way with more power handling per subwoofer. 
to stay single sub. So, oh, another one people suggested was, hey, why don't you put another 10 in here? So have two 10s in here, or two 12s. There's a lot of different options people suggested. So that was another one. But yeah, so I'm going to be going with a single 12. I'll be making a video for suggestions to come on that. And of course, also power. I'll eventually be upgrading my power. That's going to be another one. Um, probably going to also adjust my baffle. I'm going to be adding some roundovers here. I'm also going to be doing some tweaks to the box. Going to be adding 45s to the box. Going to be adjusting my sealed section. Going to be trying inverted regular mount regular again. Going to be doing some improvements on my amplifier wiring. And of course making it a little prettier and cleaner. So some of those projects I can work on and I'm going to be doing videos on every single one of them for ways for me to show you, hey, how I improve my system, tips and tricks that you can do to yours, things that I could teach you. Um, not everybody's learning. I'm learning as I go. I do this for entertainment. I don't do this for, for um, like, I guess, optimization of people's systems, but I guess people get stuff out of it. So like teaching people LPF, bass boost, subsonic gain, remote, etc. Stuff like this that I'm glad to teach people with and tuning your system, understanding port location, all the videos I've done so far. Check them out if you haven't. But big build update. I'm definitely got some more things to come with my box. I'm really happy with the results so far. I'm getting a 147, actually a 148.2 out of this. That was on the glass. So I'm definitely doing 49s in the kick on this system. 49s in the kick, 48s on glass. Really happy with the output that I got out of this system so far for a single 10. So that goes to say, what's your next goals? Obviously, and as, as a base head addiction and a person that's used to doing high numbers, somebody that's been doing 160s, it's impossible to ever go back to that with just a small single sub build. You're never going to get that loud. But my goals out of this now is to get a least, at least a 153 dB single sub build out of this under window line um pretty much out of this box i want to get a 153 out of this box so whatever i do with all the changes i mentioned and then there's more than that didn't mention them all it's nothing's on paper written out but that's some on the top of my head so i think i can get a 153 out of this box maybe even more and keep it musical i'm not looking at doing a burp suggestion oh another one people suggested was airport so putting an airport in here instead like a circle report try eight inch ten inch six inch <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. <coughs> oh, sneezed. But yeah, I'm not going to add anything out. Uh, just woke up about an hour ago. It's early in the morning. You can hear the birds chirping. I figured I'd do a build update video today. Uh, definitely have some stuff to look forward to with the, the system to come for the next couple of weeks and months for build updates as well as improvements and things to get louder. And we'll see how things go with those testing results. So, um, another thing I just thought about is I can make a discussion on this. So sixth order, if I was to put a sixth order in here, just to say, cause I had at least 15 people suggest sixth order. I mean, I could do it building, but well, that was a little loud building into the actual box, like putting a port right here or put a port over in that end. I would have to expand out my box, make it larger. And then you can also do your rear tuning port and then your front tuning port. You didn't have to make a longer leg length for the front, depending on what tuning I wanted. But I could have done trials with testing on this side and that side with the port. I mean, there's a lot of things I could have done with six orders. I just really don't want to get into that field of my enclosure just because of personal preference. There's nothing, nothing else I can go by on that because I know six orders have really great bandwidth. But I just don't want to get into the six orders right now. So just had to make sure on that one on summary. Some people are really wanting to see that. Sorry if that's a disappointment. That's a future project maybe. All right. So goes into another suggestion that people mentioned. So let me go over here. So some other videos that I can look forward to is I could do at least four or five videos on four channel amplifiers or two channel amplifiers and the concept of them. So a lot of people need to learn videos on this too. So I'm going to be doing some videos on this too. So, and it, it, the concept of the channel. So whether you got one small hundred watt four channel or two channel amp to five or six four channel amps, the concepts I'll be making with the videos, it's going to really help with this. And then also with lithium AGM electrical upgrades and changes i could do some videos on that too so everything aspect concept wise of a system you know just teaching people 
on a lower level because some people might be going into 160 dB builds. All right, so that's that. If y'all have any questions or suggestions, feel free to comment and let us know what you think. And this is Jacob Powell out. I'll see y'all in the video.